As we mentioned in our previous video, we can add Bluetooth and volume control function with Wondom BRB4 and Wondom volume control model. Today, I will show you how to directly set up an audio system with Bluetooth and volume control function. This is a Wondom Bluetooth audio receiver with aluminum enclosure BT 4.0 starter. This product could work well together with Bluetooth adapter in your laptop or desktop computer or mobile phones with Bluetooth audio stream output support. It supports Bluetooth version 4.0 plus EDR and A2DP protocol. It has a built-in 3.5mm audio jack as well as a pair of RCA jacks for audio output. It also has a 5V USB power jack which is used to power it up. The distance from this unit and the Bluetooth transmitter could be up to 10 meters, but please notice that it may vary much based on the environment. And this is a Wondon 2 channel 15 watts 4 ohm class D audio amplifier. This product integrated with TA2024, which is currently popular around the world. It not only provides stream sound but also has high efficiency. Thus, it can dissipate the heat after long time working to ensure that the amplifier can work in a stable condition for a long time. This amplifier integrates a high-quality rotary encoder, which employs high-quality digital volume control IC, ensuring precise shaft rotation and accurate volume adjustment. For more information about this amplifier, please click the link at the top right corner. Now let's connect them together to build our audio system. We can connect either the 3.5mm output port or two RCA ports on the Bluetooth receiver to the RCA input port of our amplifier. And we connect the two speakers to the output stage of our amplifier. Next, we could use any DC power supply ranging from 9 to 14 volts to power up the amplifier. Here we use Hunky 12 v 3A 36 v AC DC power adapter to power it up. And we also need to power up the Bluetooth receiver with the 5 v micro USB power supply jack over here. Please note that the USB adapter is only for power supply, it has no data transfer function. Now let's power up the whole audio system. At last we connect the audio source to the Bluetooth receiver via Bluetooth and then play some music to see the performance of our audio system. We can use the rotary encoder on amplifier to adjust the volume. Thanks for watching. If you like our video, please subscribe.